Kingston, welcome back to the show. And NASA has been pretty busy over the mm -hmm. past couple weeks. They have, and apparently Twitter is playing a big part of what's going on. I enjoyed the Twitterverse yesterday, excited about that. But <laughs> try to tell us a little more about what's going on with NASA and Twitter. Steve Meredith, good morning. First, we win the Olympics, then we land on the moon. Pretty good uh, month for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go USA. Yeah, definitely. Of course, if you haven't seen the photos of uh, the, it's called Curiosity on Mars, then you're really missing a lot. This is the machine. It's called Curiosity, and it landed on Mars just last week. You see a picture of it right there on your screen. It looks like Wally. Yeah, it oh, does. It does look like Wally. <laughs> doesn't even look real, does it? No. It seems like just some type of crazy like machine that's you know in the middle of Mars. Yep. But you can see several different photos th throughout um, right here on the screen that are actually being tweeted back. Hmm. Yeah, really? pretty big deal. You know, it's not a, it's a pretty big deal whenever we can actually in seconds get photos from however long far that is away. I don't even think it's in miles. It's like milli years or something crazy, <laughs> but way far off. Uh, I heard something funny that that. Uh, the Olympics were broadcast seven hours later, but a picture from Mars got here in a few seconds. So a pretty good uh, comparison there. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. as you know, tw uh, NASA is being underfunded at this time, is what NASA says. Um, their funding is being cut. They get 1% of the national budget. Uh, and people have not been disconnected to a NASA project since the Hubble telescope. Huh. You guys remember the Hubble telescope, right? I do. Yeah, extremely powerful telescope, but these tweets and these photos that are that this uh, curiosity is sending back to America are absolutely breathtaking. Never have we seen this type of photo. Never have we received this type of information until curiosity landed on Mars. So certainly America is be, is getting an emotional bond with this, and it's created a lot of people, you know, wanting more exploration to go on uh, across. Uh, across uh, NASA to make sure that, you know, we explore out there. I mean, there could be aliens, there could be any of the, those type of things. My favorite picture that I think I've seen come back is, and NASA has a sense of humor too. Yeah. It's one of the pictures that right. they got back and they put the little Martian Marvin in the, corner. the Martian, Marvin the Martian yeah. <laughs> in the corner. Yeah, yeah so those photos are absolutely stunning. We have some of them on our website this morning. Uh, we posted it uh, whenever NASA first landed on Mars about last week or so. Uh, you know, it got uh, about a hundred shares, so certainly a pretty big deal. Uh, you know, there's a picture right there that you can see of NASA, the building. It's all headquartered uh, in Florida. There's some in Austin. Certainly, we all know NASA whenever, you know, last year the space shuttle program ended. Uh, so a lot being cut, but Twitter's really making it to where, you know, pictures being from Mars on Twitter, pretty big deal. Travis, thank you so much. We so does Wally that. have a cell phone and, and it's at Curiosity. He's tweeting us. Back. How does he get cell phone service on Mars? Man, we, I can't we can't even, even get, get it part of the pan in. Borger. Yeah. So my phone goes off in Borger. But yeah, they got cell phones, sir. But on Mars, <laughs> right. we do. Something's exactly. all right in the world. All right, we'll keep it here. We'll keep you updated on all that and a lot more. We've got some dancing with the stars news that I know you're just itching oh, to get. All over. Coming up next.